Good afternoon, everybody. It's been a few days since I've done any updates. I thought I would just get on this morning, or it's actually it's this afternoon, and just let you know what's going on. I don't have a whole lot of news about what's going on in Ecuador, other than the fact that they're making great progress. The United States has some delegates down there and some representatives down there doing some training, providing some assistance, and their presence is well known and they have full authorization to be there and uh, they're providing all the assistance that they can. I know that there's been close to like 3,000 people have been arrested so far, the gang people, terrorists or whatever you want to call them. But from hearing from my friends, it's always kind of quiet on the home front. There's not a lot of uh, stuff going on in Monta, uh, except for a lot of rain. There's a, a bunch of rain going on. Uh, as far as my progress here in the States, uh, I've, I've been here two weeks now. Today, I believe, makes two, well, yesterday makes two weeks. No, today is two weeks that I've been here. And I do have to admit that, you know, it's as much as I love being here and love being in this particular location that I'm in right now, I, I never would want to, I don't, I mean, I really miss this place and I wouldn't want to leave it, but I'll have to, I'll have to go back home to Monta and to my friends and my life there, you know. Uh, things are gonna have to really dramatically slow down here in terms of, of cost of living here. It's it's outrageous. I, um, I've i been out to eat several times and now I'm at the point now where I'm ready to just buy my groceries at the grocery store and eat at home. It's, I, there's a couple of places I've been able to go and eat out and the price is like more than double what it was when I lived here uh, three years ago. So yeah, some people have asked me about doing a video about reverse culture shock, and it's a real thing. It is a real thing. I go to the grocery store, and it's like everything's at least five bucks and up. I bought a bottle of Jim Beam uh, whiskey yesterday. I like you. I like sipping whiskey sometimes, and it was it was on sale at twenty eight dollars for a one seven five. And I can remember. Uh, back in the day when that would have only been seventeen dollars, seventeen ninety-five, or something like that, as a regular price. So things have definitely gone up. You have to be a savvy shopper, both in Ecuador and here. I mean, the thing about buying goods and services in Ecuador is, when it comes to food, you you have to keep in mind that. You, you basically buy what you're going to need for the two or three days because uh, nothing is preserved, you know. And I had an, an orange that sat on my countertop one time that another couple more days and it would have just crawled off on its own from all the stuff, the bacteria and stuff that was growing on the outside of it. Um, so you had to be a little more, uh, uh, had to be more of a savvy shopper they're in that regard in Ecuador. Uh, here, you know, you can buy shit and it'll stay out on the counter for a long time. But, but anyway, I've also have become well aware that a few people are leaving Ecuador, uh, going back to North America. I've heard, I hear from somebody almost daily about leaving, going somewhere else, or leaving and going back to North America. And I don't know how much of it has to do with this state of emergency. I want to say that in regards to this state of emergency, hang on, just hang in there, okay? It's this going to pass. Ecuador has had several of these, and they've always managed to get through them. I think that once we're through this one and pray to God that President Noboa doesn't get assassinated and he's able to continue with his work. This will be a great country. Ecuador is a great country and it'll be even better. 
when President Noboa in the military is able to clean this place up and get this cartel under control. I'm not going to sit here and badmouth the cartel. I'm not going to badmouth anybody. But we all know that if it wasn't for North America and Europe, the cartel probably wouldn't exist. And that's just a whole other story. And we can't do anything about that. But in the meantime, I like the plan that Noboa, President Noboa has was taking the prisons back, getting the prisons under control, arresting these gang members and getting these people locked up. Who's to say that in another X number of years that Ecuador would, would, would be right back where they are right now? Because let's face it, the cartel is probably not going to go away. I don't know what to say about the people that are leaving except for the fact that it creates vacancies for uh, more people to come back and come in. I, I'm not leaving Ecuador. I'm going back. I'm going back uh, in a couple of months. I bought a motorcycle here. <laughs> oh my God, what a story this is. And when I went to pick it up yesterday, it had a, uh, a brake failure on the, the back brake. It had absolutely zero brakes. And But the guy that I bought the bike from is a Motorcycle mechanic has his own shop and he is taking care of it and he's getting the parts needed for it, having them expressed, delivered in to make it right. And so hopefully uh, this time next week I'll be out riding if the weather permits. Uh, for those of you that are interested in knowing, I bought a 2008 Yamaha FJR 1300 and it's one of the I call it the semi-automatic transmission, and what it means, it has an automatic clutch in it, and uh, you do the shipping with a paddle gear. You can use the paddle gear up on the handlebar, or you can use the pedal on the on the foot peg. But it's a very sporty bike. It's 145 horsepower, but it's a sport touring bike. It has saddlebags in the trunk, and it's very comfortable and very very comfortable. Actually, I like the way it rides better than my. BMW that I had uh, here just a few years ago. So anyway, that's what I'm doing. I'm enjoying my time here. I'm here on the golf course here where I'm at. And uh, I started to say where it's at, but I'm not going to do that. It's very nice and peaceful here and quiet. And I'm enjoying it, okay? So hang in there. Those of you that are leaving, good luck to you. I wish you well. Those of you that are on your way to Ecuador, I wish you the same thing. Good luck and wish you well. And please use your common sense. Okay? If you fly into Waikil, spend the night and get a daytime driver to drive you to Monta. Don't catch a drive and drive to Monta during the night. Okay? I don't think that needs any explanation. Just don't do it. Spend the money and stay in a hotel in Waikil for the night. Okay? That's all I have for today. Thanks so much for watching. And as soon as I have something worthy of posting, I will post another video, okay? Ciao, ciao.